In the dark then we never stop building new stuff. But this corner is now almost complete. For the ultimate goal we still need one of these enclosure here. And I'm not sure what I will put there. We need to fill these spots. We need to fill this spot. We need to fill these spots with this type enclosures. And then it will be like... Almost like I imagined. I'm still waiting for light for the camellia enclosure to arrive. There will be long will be light here and also the heat spot will be somewhere here. I will probably drill this and put it to shine on this piece of branch so camellia will spend majority of time in this area. But at this very moment the light still didn't arrive so we will need to do some other stuff. Although there is still a lot to do on that side so no worries. But let me just address the door situation. I need to switch hand because it hurts to hold camera like this. As you can see this piece of branch and also this piece of branch is actually coming outside of the enclosure. So that means in this state I cannot really put any door here. But that is intentional because I want to experiment and try to have a doorless setup. But just a second I need to remove the, this hoodie. It is really warm here. So yeah, doorless setup. The chameleon that I'm getting is still not fully grown. It is like I think this big. So technically he won't be able to reach the edges of the enclosure. So I want to try it out and see if that will actually work. I have been talking regarding this setup with my friend Mike. He also got a YouTube channel and really big knowledge about reptiles. I said that I have this idea about making a doorless setup and asking for his opinion on that. And he said that possibly maybe it could work but I should be prepared to just add doors if needed. So there we go. All of you that think that this won't work go on his channel and whine about it. He gave me the green card, but regardless, make sure to check his channel out. I will link it down in the description and probably somewhere here, I don't know. It will be there. So in case this doesn't work, I will need to cut all these branches and put mesh doors, but I'm hoping that it will work because it would be really awesome to have like doorless setup like this. Right? Right. Now, what we are going to do now, we will start working on the bearded dragon enclosure. You see, these are the pieces of wood that I want to use it inside. And it will basically be like, that will be like that. And that will be like, I don't know, somewhere here. Still not really sure about it, but I won't be doing a background this time. Mainly because I'm not sure how I would like to do that. And also I kind of don't have time for it. So eventually if I decided to add the background, it won't be any problem. But for now it will be uh, without the background. Now to start working on this enclosure, we need a lot of dirt because I want this branch to be suspended like this. So I want a lot of dirt around it to hold it. But to get nice clean dirt, we need to teleport to appropriate location. And this is the appropriate location. If you remember, this is where I recorded the video about the supercar. <laughs> we are deep inside of the forest, so there aren't any chemicals, pesticides inside of the inside of the actual soil. So it should be safe to dig it up and use it inside of the enclosure. In theory, at least, this is what I have. The tools that I have. I will need this. And I have this big bucket. I need to fill this entire thing with the dirt. So let's do it. That was hopefully all the dirt that I need and now while I'm here I will also collect some leaf litter. I definitely need some because all that I had I used in chameleon enclosure. So I just go through leaves and I just pick them up. And I take the oak leaf and chestnut. I believe those are the ones that I'm, I'm collecting at the moment. <laughs> This should be a healthy amount. Now, if you ever go to collect the leaf litter by yourself, just make sure it is from a clean environment. That's the, the main thing. Let's teleport to the dark den. I love doing these teleports. Now let me show you. This is where I dumped all the dirt. And what I want to do, I want to increase the light of this footage on this footage. So what I will do, since that dirt is relatively dry, it is drier than it usually is, I will actually mix it up with some water and then I will have it like a mud that I can use to scrub the, the bottom of this enclosure. I never try to do it like that, but I love to experiment. So we'll find out how that will work. So heavy. Why I had to mix so much? I will learn from that for the second attempt. Actually, I will take it. Now, you see, this is the stuff that I wanted. 
you see it is like mud a sticky mud that you can shape and do whatever you want to do from it now i have dirty hand and cannot operate the camera uh, okay so this will go into this and hopefully that will work <laughs> I will move this like that and we will work with this piece of branch some additional light so you can actually see what is going on here it is time to make our hands dirty actually i will take the second camera and put it inside that way you will see better what is going on okay so I'll actually get this closer so you can hear me better so as i said the idea is to make like a shape here that will hold this branch like this because this will be a basking spot for the bearded dragon. And then we will play around with shapes and stuff, I don't know. I will just start and see where it will take me. point you out that not all dirt is good for this kind of stuff here in part of Croatia where I live there is a lot of a lot of clay in it so that's why it is able to hold the shape once it dries if there is not a lot of clay in the in the dirt where you live unfortunately you won't be able to do this sort of stuff with it <music> like different terrain so like hill here and hill here and also this part I want to have sand only on that part so it will be like two separate areas one with dirt and one with sand I noticed that substrate for bearded dragons is really controversial topic because some people claim that keeping them on sand is all right the others are saying that keeping them on sand is actually bad for them because they can ingest that loose substrate and then have problems with their with their health but since i don't have any personal experience i can't really tell who is correct and who is not so anyway i will basically have both setups one with solid substrate and one with loose substrate and just as precaution i will always feed on this part that way there will be no way that bearded dragon actually ingest any loose substrate so i think that i will be safe regardless who is who is in the right and who is in the wrong <laughs> in all its glory now you see this will be the sand area but currently i don't have enough sand and the rest is this clay dirt area considering how quickly i did it i think it looks pretty sweet but honestly it is lacking a bit more detail so i will probably add something some additional stuff off camera we will see how how it will settle exactly now as this mud starts to dry i expect that it will crack a lot and that will make it look even more natural and even more cool so it definitely it definitely won't cause any trouble looking forward to it and we also need light here just like in chameleon enclosure both lights are on the way but what do you say it will do right now one time jump and the reason for this jump the lights are here now so let's unbox them now once again just like with misting system i started the research looking for the best lights for the reptiles and quickly just like with misking for misting system i quickly figured out from the forum post that the best lighting solution for the for the reptiles is in fact Arcadia lights so again I reached for the company and asked them if they are willing to support the Dark Den they were interested and I'm super happy and hyped that Dark Den has grown big enough to be interested to other companies but once again even though I received this stuff for free I can still give my honest opinion and of course after a few months of using this I will make like a proper review video about it but from the research I would still get Arcadia lights despite if they wanted to support me or not so let's check out what did they actually send I said what enclosures I'm making and they said that they will send me a, a package for it but I don't know what exactly we are going to figure that out hopefully it will be enough for chameleon and bearded dragon heat lamps 
lamp for crested gecko and two of these uvb lights one should be for chameleon and the other one should be for bearded dragon but whew, i hope that this will fit in the actual enclosure so yeah we have everything that we need to set up those enclosures and this is something oh these are some vitamin supplements cool that's all that's all these three are for Bearded Dragon and these three are for Chameleon. Let me see how exactly big this is. Okay, I think it will fit. Pro T5, that's the name of the actual light. Let's check if this will fit. Yeah, it will fit just fine. We have the stuff we need for the installation. Easy to install, I will show you later. It is super straightforward. You just have these. You mount them where you need them although these screws are a bit too long for the for the board there but i think i have shorter screws and then once you have these like uh, eh. when you have that installed you just slap it on and that's it then you have these two cables one goes here and this goes in the power outlet of course and then what is cool about these lights i saw it actually in the video you have this other cable with this you can connect multiple lights in the series so this is really awesome feature that i really like I'm not sure if I will be able to implement it here though, but definitely a feature that can be really, really useful if you need it. Let's jump into installation time-lapse. Let's see if this works. It does, it works. Woo, now we can take a better look at the, at the bearded dragon enclosure. It is still far from dry, but Looks sweet, right? <laughs> now in case you are wondering, I can run this cable through the hole here. Can you see the hole? Yeah, hole here. And then I can drill another one over there, put the guiders and pull it all up without any problems. So there won't be cable hanging. But now we need to think where we will put the actual, the actual heat spot. It is this, and it will probably go somewhere, somewhere here, so it is shining here. Yeah, I think that would be ideal. But for that I will need to go to the hardware store and get the, get the stuff that I need to install this. And also I'll need the cable. And I can actually tap to this power to power this lamp. Yeah, I can definitely do that. That means that I won't need to run two cables. Awesome. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's install the UAB on the chameleon cage. Yeah. <laughs> In case you're wondering how to install these lights you just align guiders here and here and just push the light and turn it until it clicks. Now let's see if this works. Finally I won't be... Ooh, it's not that bright. Although it looks like it is increasing in brightness. Yeah, it will definitely shine more and if there is not enough light here I can easily install some additional LED lights here and here or wherever I like. It's really easy. But yeah, this is starting to be brighter and brighter. Sweet! Whoa, whoa, whoa! And I think the mist from the misting system shouldn't, shouldn't touch the light, but let's just check that out. Let's put it a bit down, and this a bit down, and yeah, maybe a tiny drop will touch the light, but that's... I think it shouldn't cause any issues. Let's turn it off. Awesome! Now I still need to install the basking lights, but for that we will need to time jump. Now I got all the materials so we can connect the heat spot. So you see I have this. You screw the bulb in and it got this metal plate. Then you can bend and then connect wherever you like. Come with me! Hmm. Even though you cannot see it, it works! I can feel the heat coming. Yeah, I can definitely feel it radiating. Cool, so that means all that we do now, all that we need to do now is add sand here, some more branches and doors, of course. We need to make the door and for that I have these and I will silicone it here so I can have sliding doors. Now let's do the same thing for the chameleon, but that will be a bit more complicated because we need to drill the hole and all the stuff. First I will drill a hole, a smaller hole somewhere here, so I can run this cable for the, for the UVB. But I should measure that because I don't want to miss the spot. Yes! 
Yeah, that's it. But that was just the first hole. We need to make the second hole here for the heat spot, of course. And also I will need to silicone this hole completely. This was easier and more practical. I will just put something black here so it covers it up. Ready and prepared for the guy. Awesome! Hell yeah! Now, let's finish this bad boy. Yes! Look at that! The work of art! <laughs> Tomorrow I will go out and order the glass for the door. Glass that will be the door and I will also buy the sand. But you will see those stuff in the video when I bring all the animals. That will be exciting, right? So, as I said, I'm going to Germany to pick, the, to pick all the animals. And at the same time I'm going to visit Frankfurt and stay there for three days. Actually, we will stay two days and two days we will use for traveling. I'm going by car and also my girlfriend is coming with me. Because that is really long distance, there is really no point in just going there, picking up the animals and going back. We want to use it to see the city a bit. So therefore, unfortunately, next Friday they, there will be no video. Actually, you are going to see this video on Monday. So this Friday there will be no video. But on next Friday I will show you the chameleon and the bearded dragon and the leopard gecko. So the video will be lit, lit, lit. And go and check Mike's channel. The link is in the description. Send him some love. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Almost every Friday. So see you again soon. Bye! <laughs>